Hello friends, how are you doing? In this video today, we will be explaining together how to apply for Bangladesh visa and as always, we will start with the visa policy of the country of Bangladesh, then uh, all the application process and then all the required documents. But before we start, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and if you have any inquiry or question, please write it below in the comment section and I will respond to you back in 24 hours if we will check together uh, the visa policy uh, of the country of Bangladesh we will find that few countries uh, are visa exempt uh, and most of those countries are African uh, countries and uh, Philippines but United States Canada Russia and Europe and some Arabian countries like Saudi Arabia uh, uh, Oman, uh, United Arab Emirates and Australia, they are, uh, they can obtain visa on arrival and the rest of the countries you must obtain uh, a visa uh, before traveling uh, to uh, Bangladesh that includes India, uh, Pakistan, Iran, Egypt and all South uh, American countries. The first thing you will need to apply for a Bangladesh visa through an embassy is to fill the application form and the application form can be filled online through the, this site visa.government.bangladesh and as they are telling you all the regulations that fill up and submit the online visa application then print the complete form take the printed form enclosed with required documents that we will explain later a payment of visa fees documents to the nearest uh, visa office or uh, Bangladesh mission. If you want to check uh, the visa fees, you can click over here and by clicking here, this page will appear in front of you. Uh, for example, for country like Tunisia, for single entry, $19, uh, for multiple, $11. It is different from a country to another and as a currency in USD uh, dollars, for example, uh, for United States, uh, minor outlying lands, okay, I don't know what is that, for example, let's check uh, India, uh, for example, A, B, C, D, for Egypt, for example, uh, 29 US dollars for single entry, uh, for India, for example, it is 0 USD uh, dollars for uh, Pakistan let's check in all for Pakistan it is two USD a dollar so those are the prices you can check the prices depending on your country for example if we check the country of Brazil it is ten dollars and it depends and different from a country to uh, another for Canada this is in the local currency of Bangladesh this is not USD so don't be shocked by uh, the big number appears in front of you so let's start filling the form together uh, first you start by clicking I have read the above information and the relevant uh, guidance note then click next by clicking next this page will start uh, loading I have to enter my email then confirm my email and the security code and then I will click uh, next okay here I will start with the part one there are seven parts part one part two part three part four by five by bar six part seven is starting here part one is the section of personal information now filling the form first I will choose a picture there is no image so I have to choose a picture please provide an image okay uh, how to provide an image photo okay yes photo from here 
Okay, first country, I will assume I'm applying from uh, Brazil, for example. Any country, uh, you can apply from any country. And I'll choose this picture. Okay. I'll click preview to see the picture. Okay. So the picture is supposed to be loaded here. Okay. First name. Uh, second name. Okay. To be printed on visa. First name on visa. Surname, permanent address, permanent address, address in Bangladesh. I have not no address in Bangladesh. Mail, place of birth, birth country. Let's say Brazil. We choose Brazil. So let's continue. If you are from Pakistan, write Pakistan. If you are from India, write India. If you are from Egypt, write Egypt. Just write your nationality. It is a one site for. Uh, for all occupation engineer uh, single organization uh, there is no organization but it's fine I'll click here save and next why is not saving oh yeah those are with the stars so I have to fill them all uh, numbers one two two three four five six seven eight nine address contact one two three four five six seven eight nine and date of birth this is my date of birth for example okay now I filled okay save and next now it's loading And welcome to part two type of visa enrollment what kind of visa you want okay I want it is a new visa application okay save and next okay this is your uh, login application ID and password for Bangladesh MRV online visa application. Your details are as following. They are giving me an ID and a password also. I will have to uh, keep them and I'm checking my email in case. Okay, maybe they didn't send me anything. Just one second. Okay, I just have to copy them and save them. I will click here okay completing this third section travel documents passport number one two three four five six passport type ordinary okay date of issue let's say that date date of expiry the date and have you visited uh to bangladesh previously i'll say no date of last visit of bangladesh i already said no okay save and next now loading okay part 4 is payment information name of bank of this bank name of the branch bank payment method uh, Receipt number, check bank transfer scroll number, payment currency, Brazil, Brazilian real amount deposited. Okay, payment date. Let's say I did this payment the day. Save and next. Still loading.
Okay. Purpose of visit, I'll say tourism. Okay, duration of purpose of uh, proposed stay in Bangladesh, let's say 30 days. Okay, uh, tentative date of arrival in Bangladesh, let's say that date. Intended number of entries, I would like to have multiple, for example. Save and next. You don't have to be worried about this payment part because as I said in the site you will take the payment with you to the embassy uh, group order by what is that Bangladesh visa office information okay Brazil save and next And even in the payment part, I believe that you don't have to fill it. It will be okay. Okay, let's go back to the payment part. Is there something I would like to check? Part 4. Payment information. Let's just not fill this part. Let's not fill it at all. Okay. Save and next. And it will be loading. Just to show you that this part is not important. So by clicking save and next, it's okay. Because anyway, you're supposed to pay in uh, uh, in the embassy. Okay. Part 7. Let's go to part 7. I already filled this part. Okay. Documents checklist. Those are all the documents that you uh, will have to... Or like prepare with you uh, a, a recommendation from consul minister no just check a photo i will take the photo with me i will take no not birth certificate passport copy uh just the documents that you need overstay payment slip no trade license income tax other documents okay save and next those are the documents that I will take with me because those are irrelevant to my situation. You just need to check the documents that fit you. And you don't even have to checklist it. For example, this is part, this is for Sri Lankan High Commission and I'm applying, for, I'm applying from Brazil so I don't need to fill it. But you know that you need some extra documents and we will be clarifying what other documents you need in general to apply for any visa. Okay, now it's loading. So this is my application form. I'm supposed to uh, just checking this application form. Just need to check it after you check it okay and then you click save and next it is loading Okay, now you have to download and print the complete visa application form by clicking here. You will be downloading it. Download and print complete visa application form. 
okay it is downloading and now opening it this is the visa application form you have to print it and you have to take it with you and after you finish you click finish over here okay and back to this page you have to understand also that this is not uh, the only way to fill the application form for example if you're applying from egypt or uh, from pakistan for example you can get go to visa counselor and the visa here the visa section here and here you can download a fillable form if you click here this form will appear in front of you let me show you i'm sure i'm just opening the form okay this form for example will appear it will be downloaded to if you are applying from islamabad and if you are applying from egypt this application form also can be downloaded and can be filled manually so you have two options either you or oh, fill it uh, from the site or you download the form from the embassy uh, site itself now back to the uh, right now back to our site after filling the form then you will have to take the form and to go to the embassy by clicking contact us if you are applying from in Cairo this is the address in Cairo if you are applying from India you can click contacts here and this is the place in India where to go and if you are applying from Pakistan then in contact us this is the address in Islamabad and there is also a phone uh, number and in the next session I'll be telling you all about uh, the documents that you should prepare in order to apply not only for uh, the Bangladesh visa but for any visa speaking about the documents you will need to apply for the visa the first document is your passport speaking about the passport the passport must be original the issue date must be not older than 10 years with at least six months of remaining validity and with at least two blank visa badges for the stamps number two you will need a photocopy of your passport the passport photocopy is recommended to be colored must show both data page and the photo page if they are separated number three you will need personal pictures for the personal picture you will need two pictures not older than six months clear shows full face with white background and shows neutral expressions no head or face covering accepted except for religious reasons number four you will need visa application forms for the visa application form it could be an online form filled online printed then signed it could be also a pdf form filled on computer printed then signed and also it could be a hand filled form printed then filled then signed its type depends on the country of the visa and will be explained individually in each video number five you will need a proof of status for the proof of status it varies if you are an employee or work in a company you will need a letter from an employer or hr office or your sponsor stating designation the date of employment the salary the period of stay purpose of visit and financial arrangements shall also be mentioned the letter must have an original signature and a stamp but if you are an owner of your own company or a partner in a company you will need a copy of the company commercial registry 
and tax card should also be presented. And if you are a student in a school or college, enrollment letter should be provided. Number six, for foreigners, you will need a legal residence permit. If you are not applying for a visa in the country of your own citizenship, you must provide the original and photocopy of your valid certificates of residence, employment, or student status, or other valid certificates of legal stay, provided by the relevant authorities of the country where the visa center is located. Number seven, you will need a proof of funds. You will also need a proof of sufficient financial means to cover the period of your intended stay. A bank statement for the last six months showing regular income. The original bank statement must show the applicant's name and be stamped and signed by the bank's representative. Please note that cash will not be accepted as a proof of funds. In case you don't have a bank account, a proof of any assets can also be presented. Number eight, you will need a flight reservation. The flight reservation is also an important document. A primary booking of flight ticket reservation must be presented, including the return trip. And in some cases, for some countries, this flight ticket must be confirmed. Number nine, you will need a proof of accommodation. You will also need to provide a proof of accommodation for the whole duration of the intended stay. It should be a confirmed hotel reservation. The confirmation needs to be issued directly by the hotel, guest house, and clearly state the visa applicant's full name, dates of accommodation, the hotel address, and the contact details. In case you don't have a hotel reservation, you will need an invitation by the Office of Citizenship and Migration Affairs or invitation from a host. The host can be company, friends, family, and it should indicate the address of accommodation. And those are some sites you can use to book your accommodation place. Number 10, you will need a health insurance certificate. In many cases, you will need a travel insurance certificate, especially for Schengen countries. It should be covering the whole period of stay, including the information on terms and conditions. The insurance should cover all medical expenses, including emergency hospital treatment and repartition of the period of your stay in the Schengen area, covering at least 30,000 euros. The travel insurance certificate shall be signed and stamped by the insurance company representatives or be able to confirm it online. Those are some sites of companies you can use for your travel insurance.